Greetings everyone, Ajon here, another Dawn of War, not Dawn of War, Company Rose 1 replay. Spawn on the south side as an UKF, we have Painkiller ZZ-.7. So on the north side as the Panzer Elite, we have Zivjar B-I-H. Zivjar. 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 I have no idea. And that Shimbogen is going very aggressive to that munitions point. We do have a Lieutenant into pack up. Let's switch over to the Panzer Elite. We do see another Schimwagen into Panzer Grenadiers. Schimwagen is here. Schim, not Schim. Schim, Schim, Schimwagen. Schim Panzerwagen. Don't rock the boat. But I thought you went to rock the boat. Another point's been captured. He may be eyeing to this munitions point. Yep. Then probably to this munitions point here. Steady up, squad. Panzer Grenadiers could be eyeing. There's going to need both forces. Both sides are probably going to put a lot of force in this general region. Where is this HQ going to be going? Probably a good spot is a, probably around here. Get some more munitions income and be very forward and able to attack this point and this point. While both players have to run a distance to this point. To the it has been taken. There are three Schimwagens on the field. Okay, he's only deployed one Panzergrenadier. Okay, interesting. Schimwagens can't deploy out incendiary traps. Commonwealth forces are capturing a friendly sector. And that spread was so yeah, wide that the lieutenant could just stand in the middle of all the fire. Panzer Grand is coming to respond, yeah, trying to gauge the, the lieutenant. And missing. Apparently that explosion did leave some light cover there, so that's why he didn't take any damage. Scope rifles captured this fuel point here. Overall great capping pressure by the Panzer Elite player. This map is very big, so these Schimwagens can get some good work done. Let's back, switch back to the Brits. Another infantry section is being deployed on out. Ready for action. Schimwagen had sustained much damage there. I need to capture this munitions point, but he will spot this HQ there and realize, oh, I can't decapture this munitions point. And he's not currently deploying a landmine at the moment, or incendiary trap, I should say. Intersections do have Germans these. Have penetrated the line. They are trying to take a sector. Second squad intersection. So he's actually upgraded this one here with scope rifles. There's two scope rifles deployed on out. Seems Jerry decided not to fight. All he should do is probably just decapture the point and run. The Schimwagen has not responded just yet. He may actually lose it. Engine damage, so he's going to lose a Schimwagen. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. Best bring out a Birkentiga to get that thing uh, recovered, right? Clearly the best time for Birkentiga. G43 is having to point it out, and this can use his suppressive fire ability now. The lads are pinned down! Victory point is ours! Forward OP is reporting a petrol dump under attack. The lieutenant is now seeing quite a bit of fire. Doesn't decapture that point in time. It's just a regular point, anyways. Jerry's cut forward supply lines. And we actually can see a machine gun bunker to float on out. Shifting. Jerry's overrunning one of our sectors. Panzer Grenadiers capture this point. 
pass to the G43 squad should get behind some light cover here. We got an infantry half track, so pass the G43 squad should jump inside so supply. wounded. Forward supply lines are broken. MG ready. Fire anti Take it up, lads. This is what we came for. Shrimpwagon's just going around capturing points. Very Germans nice. Are seizing territory from us. Left Tennessee to support. He does have a Bren gun being researched as well. Oh, I don't think it's a great time to say what can drive. I, being overrun. I think that was actually the Vickers that said that. Let's get some good suppression there. The Vickers emplacement gave some good suppression on these squads. Or a squad. Speed governors have been upgraded on HQ trucks. Speed governors have been researched. We do have the Schimwagen following on back. And he maybe I just deploy this one into the by the munitions or the fuel point. Keep your bloody head down! If he goes for the fuel point, we'll go to see a Stuart rush. Supply lines are being threatened. Schimwagen is the captain of the munitions point. And can't deploy it because the point is being decaptured. Is that a mortar placement? Yeah, we do have mortar placement deployed on out. Losing a victory point. I say again, we are losing a victory point. I need to capture this munitions point here. Not do trying to capture up, uh, deploy it with these. Trying to deal with the Shimbogans. Booby trap. Right there. Incendiary the trap. And it, he is getting stacked Ready up on to top move. of this incendiary effect, so he will sustain quite a bit of damage there. Red guns firing away. He's hitting the half track and not the repairing engineers. Or we are losing a strategic sector. And somehow got a damaged engine right there. I'm not sure how he got that. Was it the incendiary effect burning the engine? He needs to hit these pounds of grenadiers themselves, and so I'm not exactly sure what he's doing. Panzer forces are trying to secure our fuel dump. He's doing good damage on it, but he can just simply just drive it away. And we actually got a forward HQ here. That's interesting. The guys are quite healthy as well, so he may have the forward healing as well, or eh, it's probably out of the range of forward healing. Throws on senior grenade. And not responding to this uh, Bren gunner being burned alive. Does fall back with these squads now. Supply lines are broken. We have territory out of supply. Looks like he's going for this munitions point here since he can't get that other munitions point. Quite a bit of manpower stored up. He may be eyeing for some Churchills. Or reinforcements. That tree's on fire. It is a pine, so it's rich in sugar. It can easily be it's flammable, but it's probably it's also green, so it's probably not really that flammable. The bark should be bursting off, shooting the flames off the tree. And we do have the uh, forward healing, so very nice. We have a victory point under attack. A sector is being overrun. Mortar firing off somewhere. Oh, heading towards over here. Very nice. Looks like a general barrage in this area. Or just right there. Looks like he got a good hit there. German 
target has been destroyed. Ooh, great mortar hit there. And that was, was that a G43 squad? That's a bold action rifle there. I don't remember what type of squad, if squad have had any upgrades, but nice uh, uh, squad wipe there. Never hurts getting another a squad wipe like that. Don't really see, I don't know why, but these uh, mortar placements, they have a really good AOE. They're, in my opinion, pretty underrated. Battalion HQ has confirmed it can start securing resources from the area. Okay, that's not, I was thinking that was the uh, Royal Engineer's ability, but he's way far from that. Good damage there. Does get this guy suppressed by the uh, Piets. Mortar half track gets a good hit there. Brand guns pushing the way forward. Does get some good hits there on the mortar half track. Very nice. Piets are alive, but barely, and the mortar half track does fully go down. He loses the entire sapper squad. He needs to start using that mortar uh, pit and start barraging, sieging down the structure and not right destroying it. Capture complete. What's up with that, uh, that's the flap right there, but really bugging out that's floating rather than just wide open. So nice sort of see some interesting bugs like that. Or not so nice, one or two. Brand gunners are actually quite wounded. So is a scope rifle squad, and we've got STG squad. Two STG squads now deployed on out. Incendiary grenade thrown. A little bit overkill there. STG squads could push forward and rip apart these scope rifles, but they're just trying to maintain maximum range, which is not exactly great. He didn't actually decap that point. Has made glider troop drops available to us. So commandos can now be deployed and he has some a casualty clearing station, so he's getting some casualties recovered. So he has one, two more are on the way. And the scope rifle squad will escape on out there, but barely. We did have the Panzer Jaeger Command and the Camp Group for Intra Company. We may see a 2 to 2 out relatively soon. That was too easy, gents. Keep your wits about you. Tickets are actually dead even. Men ready. Now they're not. Oh, this is Schimwagen. I don't know why, but both the Kettengrad and the Schimwagen, I don't spot those all too immediately. They do look like they can blend in terrain. This medic makes a trip uh, that mine. Two more casualties, and you get a fresh intersection. These guys are trying to capture the VP while in combat. They're sustaining. They're also really stacked up. And Cinder Grenade was thrown. That Cinder Grenade is going to be very effective. Captain gets ripped apart. And the Bren gun is getting ripped apart as well. And gets fully wiped there. Medics are pushing the way forward. If he recovers both of those casualties, he will get a free squad. Currently, he has two scope rifle squads. We even have a tank buster deployed out of the field. Are attacking and our supply a martyr lines. has been deployed on out. That's interesting. Maybe he's expecting his boat to deploy out some heavy vehicles since he hasn't seen any Bren carriers nor Stewarts. Don't 
done a thing of beauty. Watch out, Jack. Another mortar placement has been deployed on out. Pretty far forward. He has deployed out sapper uh, Piets into a trench. This feels like a little bit of a Ready lower uh, skilled shot, replay, but it should be interesting nonetheless. Ready. He needs a yeah, he does cancel that uh, mortar in place. Interesting, but he needs to more mainly use this other th three uh, inch mortar emplacement. Quite a bit of units right here. Mac pushing his way forward. He does have a free squad. Send your message. Germans have penetrated the lines. They are trying to take a sector. And Schumwagen is going to be trying to stop the capture. A German target has been destroyed. And a right into the driver is one way to kill it. He is getting another infantry section soon. We'll have a fourth infantry section on the field. That's quite a bit. Maybe get out some. What's it called? Rifle grenades at this point? Deploy a couple of rifle grenades inside these trenches. Ooh, that's incendiary trap. Fresh Bren gun. Two pan track, two SDGs, and one G43. And. The scope rifle does go down. Casualties out there. Uh, why do you go for commandos if he's getting more and more infantry sections? Armor ready for orders. 25 pounder being deployed on out. And depending how grouped his opponent is, blobbing. Ready for orders. So it could Section be quite useful. Ready. Front lines are collapsing. There's still another incendiary trap here. The scope rifles can spot that. And he's going to walk straight into that incendiary effect, not paying attention. Oh, crap. Supply lines threatened. Jerry's attempting to secure he one of our sectors. He won't get squads There's enough memos on the outside. But he lost a lot of guys there. That's going to suppress there by the infantry half-track. We'll need to fall back. Lieutenant may need to fall back as well. Now a raid right around here, 25 pounder barrage wouldn't be half bad, and that scope Forward rifle squad goes down. Forward report a section is KIA. What the hell? Is that the incendiary effect of them being on fire, running around circles? Cause that looks so stupid. <laughs> Third battalion has access to glider borne light armor. see much of Tetrarchs. When do you usually deploy Tetrarchs? You can get Stuarts out quicker you can get out Tetrarchs. So when would you ever deploy a Tetrarch? If you have no fuel? Do you get the first one without fuel? But I think the second one from the glider will cost some fuel. Armor Command truck is pushing his way forward. And some of these uh, guys getting ripped apart by the mortar half track by these forces. These forces just getting ripped apart. Incendiary mortar even coming on in. The medic does get burned up. There's a casualty there, but the casualty got burned up as well. Currently, his medics are dead, and he has losing a one more into location. a free squad. He potentially could deploy that one in this sector here. Shimvog is going around capturing a point still. We have a secured sector under attack. All right, go ahead. 
25 pounder rotating around. Mortar also running on him. 25 pounder gets a decent hit there. But the armor tri uh, command truck may need to pack up and get out of there. He could use a back. He actually could use some more fuel, so perhaps reach point the fuel point would help out. And he annihilate his own forces. Cromwell coming out in the build queue. He may actually decapture that central VP now since he forced back from Germans Master Treat. Assaulting one of our victory points. He needs to decapture that uh, house. For but looks like his line lines are broken. Shrimvog is captured to the left side. Piet's pushing very, very far forward. Get some good work in, but those two pantrick squads have to be, to be worried about. Down to 300 points. Does receive a good hit there on the Cromwell. Heroic chart has been has been used, and now they're exhausted. Track forces are trying to take a petrol sector. Needs a lot of repairs for some of these structures. Jerry's cut forward supply lines. Does get a fresh infantry section forward here. Supply lines are broken. He has no more scoped rifles. CP6, ready for your message. Ready to fill our day. On the left side, we still have the martyr. I forgot about that thing. <laughs> Even still alive, he must have had it back in reserves. We've upgraded our kit. Ready for action. Sorry, Al. They've zeroed in on us. Sin traps have been you used, and that rifle grenade could be pretty good. These rifle grenades, they're seeing how blobby these forces are. Those rifle grenades could be quite effective. We have a secured sector under attack. Carmo needs to start pushing it forward. He's going to lose the armor command truck. If he wants to deploy out vehicles at this point, he might as well just go for pet sharks. Jerry's hitting one of our forward sectors. We're losing a sector. Seventy pounder going to be killing his old command truck. We've lost an armor nope, command. They have destroyed a German target. He did take out one of the squads there. It was a, it was the G43 squad. Supply lines are broken. We have territory out of supply. And now we've got some gliders, uh, glider commandos deployed on out, capturing up, decapturing the uh, command point. Good hit there by the German motor half track. Motor half track at nine kills. Oh, found in senior trap, but luckily Frontline they flinched away from it. Losing a sector. Battalion has provided frontline troops with radio triangulation equipment. Now I can triangulate. That looks like a demo charge. Section ready. Battalion is down to 200 points. What was that self propelled art? Oh, that was the radio triangulation saying that now there's a Hummel out on the field. 
depending how those guys scatter, he could get a pretty good devil charge. He does detonate it there, but doesn't get a squad wipe. Glider uh, commandos are falling back. Gets a sizable engine damage there, almost destroying his own half track of the pants track. Again, almost destroying his half track of that pants track. All the commando models, nope, one of them just went down there. Homo on the barrage this sector here. Ooh. And now it's incendiary mortar as well. That 70 pound is almost dead on the overrun. Game burned alive by the incendiary mortar. And does take out the 17 pounder right there. Cromwell does get a nice hit there, but Duke just lost a Cromwell. Tank. It does go down. Twenty-five pounder now right trying to rain on in. Haven't been barraging down that structure. Great how it's a shot there. He may have the four-man squad upgrade. Eh, I don't think so actually. Yeah, two men right there. Two-thirds health. And see, he should have been attacking that structure a long time ago. Here, Humo. Good hits there. Schimbagen getting hit by the commandos and the yes, officer. German forces are trying to overrun one, one of our so the German vehicle was knocked out. Schimbagen does go down. Right grenades have a pretty good blob to shoot against. But they do outright miss right there. That two officers alive, not being touched. Incendiary grenade was being thrown. It has been thrown. Let's not use a demo charge there because he just gets attack. spotted when trying to plant it down. Okay, you can shoot it back. Perhaps maybe throw in sneak yeah, grenades on him. That general location is probably a good idea. Bloody hell, they've zeroed in on us! We are losing the fight. Enemy forces are knocked us down to one secure sector up. under attack. Ooh, got the 25 pounder. Does detonate the model there target. and wipes out a STG squad. Or, no, it was a Panstruck squad. And also, uh, German the forces are trying to is coming on in. The 251 needs to rotate around to get his Panshrek firing. Have a secured sector under attack. Jerry's hitting one of our forward sectors. 25 pounder, go ahead. Fresh casualty clearing station is being deployed on now because the last Ready one got destroyed. We have a secured sector under attack. Good hits there, and looks like the field support truck will likely go down. Build complete over here. German forces are trying to overrun one of our sectors. We can now build that build business Our field support command truck has been destroyed. Now, oh, seeing as a homo, I also probably mentioned that he's attack. fighting against scorched earth. In which he has the other two command points quite handily. This, uh. No, that's not cutting Brad. Can the ship lay down booby traps? If they can, they should start laying them down. Ooh. Great humo around. You should start eyeing the booby trap a lot of these points. Especially the command point over here. And perhaps maybe just straight up sabotage this one. Point. Lots of casualties for them to recover, but he may have lost a medic in one of those rounds. Sir, ready for action.
Number one commander. We are losing the battle. We're down to 50 points. And this could be quite deadly. Good hit there. Late response. The Brits down those last 35 points. Infantry starting to make it advance. Officer artillery could be great. Not officer artillery, but off map artillery. Or even just decoy. Just start using decoy whenever you have a chance. We're down to 25 points. Rally the troops and counter attack, or today is lost. This is it, gents. Commanders need to start capturing the VP, not that fuel point. Rifle grenade does get a decent hit there, but gets crushed in return. And that's the decoy barrage. And it has been the intended effect. And here comes the actual barrage. You can throw out some more smoke there just to confound him. And not any response. This could be a quite deadly barrage. Does get a squad right there. The initiative is ours. Victory countdown started. Glider commanders have been deployed on out. That mortar has had the only one thing you could shoot at was that uh, Cromwell, and I don't think he actually fired a shot against a Cromwell. Soon to be a triple capture in favor of the Brit. A lot of stuff needs repairs. He only has the one sapper squad as well, so once that guy falls back, he will likely need to spend some time repairing everything. He does have some demo traps here and there. Just the company has been deployed. A victory location is under attack. Wait. Oh, pff, that symbol means I didn't recognize that phone symbol at first. It's like, wait, what's up there in there? But that's just their triangulation effect. Intersection is getting overran, has seen quite a bit of damage right there. May lose that squad entirely. And there's just a lot of Panzer Grenadiers. He doesn't have four-man squad upgrades, but probably could use it. Troop ready. HQ has been destroyed. Patrol ready. Does have the demo charge as well, ready to go. Munitions Depot is being overrun. Petrol reserves secured. RAF will be providing us HQ glider support. HQ glider can be pulled on in. There is cut forward supply lines. Piet commandos can be useful. They can stealth around and have two piets without using munitions. We've got the increased squad size finally. Hands are charging forward. The commandos are trying to hold the ground but won't be successful. Seven piets also fall back as well. And the. Oh, lots of lot of incendiary grenades. He wouldn't be eye to try to get some trenches here just to set up in order to protect that uh, command point. There's two infantry half tracks here. Commando. May get wiped out, but may escape. Looks like they will escape. 
NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. 25 pounder gained some good hits there. But the home was coming in for a counter barrage. A lot of free munitions he's passing up. Not very good at ca uh, queuing up a whole bunch of capture orders. Another intersection has been reformed. He has a lot of squads, but it's just been largely just dying. Did drop a pen truck there. That could be useful. The cap or the uh, lieutenant could pick that up. Another 4 HQ deployed here, but that's really not useful. I'm not sure what should company commanders report a section is KIA. I'm not sure why he charged it in the die. Say the word. Upgrade bloody dogs. Enemy support. Scope rifles need to fall back. These commanders will need to fall back. These commanders will need to fall back. Forces are trying to secure one of our sectors. Yes, plenty of manpower as well. He can reinforce them. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. He needs to fall back. He has not deployed any devil trucks in this area, so perhaps use a... No, he doesn't. Well, decoy barrage could be used to delay his opponent. Jerry's trying to push in with infantry. He lost both of his commandos in that uh, engagement. So I'm deploy out some more of these upgrades. Oh. That may have been squad wipe there. Sappers just need to start repairing up these structures. Two more casualties being recovered as well. Defensive sector artillery can now be called on in. We do got this demo trap here. Jerry has only 200 points remaining. If you ask me, you're a real nutter. Taking fire! Oh, spots some martyrs, spots these the infantry half-tracks. The infantry half-tracks could potentially suppress these squads. Contact with one. Enemy vehicle hit there. The court barrage has been caught on in and is not responding. Does do a late retreat there, which actually, those rounds come down pretty, excuse me, pretty quickly. So that was a pretty good decoy barrage. <laughs> Jerry's pushed through our lines and is trying to take a victory point. Target secured. Watch for Hans Jens. Good Jerry's targeting HQ command truck. Return fire. Ready for your orders. Oh, the K2 command truck can't return fire. Oh, another glider has been caught on in. Assaulting one of our victory points. Ready to lay the boots to Jerry. Needs to get in there. He does have plenty of uh, have the capture point at the moment. He needs to start decapturing it right now. He needs to decapture as soon as possible. Commandos do have a faster capture and decapture rate. Over here, the Schimpfwagen is captured at the point. Roger. Enemy unit, Enemy unit destroyed. Out. Contact! German infantry! The structure's still up and running here, but just really wounded. Enemy section! Infantry And we do have now a decoy barrage. He doesn't get lose that squad entirely. He may lose some more squads as well. 
And this machine gun placement will actually get another burst off, suppressing that entire group. Now is a great time to bring in the 25 pounder barrage because since he knows about this force is pinned down, it's an easy target to shoot at. More commandos could pick up that Bren. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. Coming up for more casualties, we will get a fresh infantry section. Front lines are under attack. We're losing a sector. Bloody hell! Taking effective fire! That's a capture fire. at the victory point. Sir, ready for action. Incoming armor! Still also dropped Panzer Shrek here. Finally. He's in the Piet squad, or... Wait, no, no, sir. No, Piet cannot pick it up. NCOs report to Lieutenant is KIA. Lieutenant does go down. Germans are seizing territory from us. He gets to fire a shot at the Martyr, but it's really not a useful item at this point. And that Devil Charge could be very useful. He could have got squad wiped. Oh, 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 oh. Now, now, now. That Demo Charge. Now, 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 destroyed a German target. Double kill. He really should get something from sweet those demo charges at this point. Commandos do pick up that Bren. Right, looks like we've got ourselves some action, lads. Bloody hell! Taking effective fire! There is a Taking fire! Ready for action! Intersection oh, and uh, Commandos. Sapper squad may get fully wiped from here. Does get fully wiped. Lots of squad wipes on from both sides. A victory point is being overrun. Petrol stars have been captured. Section ready. There's no the the have secured the victory point. Ready players just throwing this ready game ready ready away. Let's take out the triage center again of the casualty clearing station. These emplacements have seen quite a bit of a beating. Commandos are sustaining quite a bit of damage right there. Get your bloody hell for taking hell major casualties out there. And it looks like he did lose that entire commando squad. This commando's charging forward. Taking fire! We run into the river! Looks like a second unknown number of enemy on one of deployed. our victory points. Force their hand, they're down to 50 points. This devil charge probably won't get the kill there on that Shimwagen. He detonated it too late anyways. The Cinder Trap or Cinder Mortar did come out. Twenty five pounders now down. The mortar placement's still alive. Lines are collapsing. Shinvagan will be trying to decapture that point. Lieutenant As rep gets shows, overwhelmed. Lieutenant. That's a regular artillery barrage, not decoy barrage, but he will miss it entirely. Mortar Hatchback gets a great hit there. 
and does not stop the, the, the capture. The Panzer Lee player is down to his last 30 tickets and is a double capture against him. Another commando glider come on in and does interrupt the capture there. Using a victory five points remaining with the Germans. Kedgrad just needs to stay here and capture it. And immediately starts decapturing after the commandos. Do we have the support infantry now advancing? This VP is captured by Shimwagen. While well, this one, the commandos will the likely company does commanders go down. Report a section is KIA. The German target has been knocked out. He needs to start capturing that immediately. He can leave behind the, the weakened Panzer Truck squad. Shoot Shoot what the hell? They zeroed in on us. He does not have enough munitions for a regular barrage. He does throw in a uh, decoy barrage, which he's dodging it. The not Germans are after one of our munitions depots. Schwimmwagen has captured that point. All right, ready to he now should knows how me how little tickets he has. He should interrupt that one. It's Capture bloody complete. Both of these players are just not very uh bright, are they? Show a unit is KIA. Goes down to a mortar. I am not sure what he's doing. He needs to capture that point now. He's throwing with the game. The Brit's down. That's his last infantry section. The Brit's uh, infantry section does go, does go down. It, he may actually lose because he's not capturing that point. Don't use the Schimwagens. Get an infantry unit to capture that point. What's going on? We have a victory point under attack. You don't have the tickets to spare. Look, he has four tickets. Commandos just to capture that point. Now it's a single capture against him. He needs a. S and the Schimwagen's not going to capture in time. Troops are taking major casualties out there. He literally lost the game because he didn't immediately start capturing it from the Patrick squad. What the hell? This was a frustrating game. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.